Two days before Christmas in 2020, the Broadway world lost a legend. Rebecca Luker died just 13 months after receiving a diagnosis of ALS, commonly known as Lou Gehrig's disease. And now a Delaware man wants to honor Miss Luker's legacy by creating professional leadership opportunities in the theater for individuals for, from underserved communities to better represent the diversity of our communities. With us this afternoon is James Fitzsimmons. He is the, um, actually he's the co-creator of the Rebecca Luker Theatrical Partnership and with him is Karen Richards who is an actor and a director, also the first recipient of the partnership. Thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Thank you for having us. So James, tell us, tell us about Miss Luker. Uh, Rebecca was, besides being incredibly talented, uh, she had, you know, had this beautiful soprano voice. She did Phantom of the Opera. She did The Music Man, Sound of Music. I got to work with her on, on a musical called Death Takes a Holiday. I know her, I've known her and her husband for a long while, long, long time. And, uh, but she was also just one of the kindest human beings I had ever met and worked with. It was just such a devastating thing to lose her uh, to ALS, but she never stopped fighting. She never stopped working. She never stopped. Uh, she just never stopped yeah. and uh, was a tremendous example yeah. uh, of, of bravery and fortitude. And uh, when she passed, it was quite devastating to me. Yeah. And that's how you came up with uh, this partnership. Tell us about it. I, again, I wanted to do something to honor Rebecca's, Rebecca's memory and her, her passion for, uh, uh, for many different causes. And I thought, this would be a good fit. I mean, she was in the, you know, this was a chance to do something for clear, with clear space, not necessarily for clear space and with clear space uh, to help them grow because they've been doing uh, such great work and have been, have survived for 17 years and for 17 yeah. years to run a, to have a theater grow like this one has is a huge, that is huge, huge accomplishment. So Karen, let me ask you this. You've got big plans for the partnership. My, me helping in the partnership slash my role with the partnership this time around is really going into the communities and um, going into underserved communities to really show what theater has to offer, not only by being an actor, a stage manager, costume designer, but just opening their minds to what theater has to offer and all the creativity, even if it's just sitting in an audience and getting to go along on this ride with us. Right. So that's my big, big plan for uh, being with the partnership. Oh, that's exciting. And <laughs> starring in and directing. <laughs> yeah, so that was actually my next huge, huge thing. Next question. Tell us about your submission that you have. Uh, you have a, a performance coming up? The submission? Yes. yes. Uh, so I will be um, acting and directing in the submission. Uh, it will be running from June 3rd to the 5th. And um, my goal with this show is basically, not basically, but it is to start a com conversation that is one that we tend to shy away from, especially us that tend to consider ourselves most forward thinking, especially not only within like the theater community, but also as individuals. It's giving us an opportunity to step out of ourselves and really ask the important questions. And that's what I love about the show. Mm, wonderful. And James, how, how do you feel about this? Yeah, obviously this is this has to make you happy i am incredibly happy and i'm thrilled and i'm thrilled to actually get the opportunity to to meet and work with karen <laughs> on this uh, i can't wait to to see the submission and to see what else she is able to do with this opportunity i think that's that's the great thing i mean she's incredibly smart <laughs> incredibly talented uh she's actually appeared at clear space several times. She's appearing here now. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, but I couldn't be more proud. And, yeah. and I know that uh, Rebecca's uh, 
husband Danny is incredibly proud as well and thrilled with what we're, we've been able to do. And and with the help of uh, of Karen, we're going to try to uh, grow this partnership each year yes. uh, uh, to bring a new a new individual every year to be able to see to uh, to reach different communities. And I think that's really that for me is is. Uh, very, very important. Right. Uh, but right now, I, I'm just thrilled to this. Well, James Fitzsimmons, co-creator of the Rebecca Luker Theatrical Partnership, and Karen Richards, actor and director, thank you so much, and good luck with this partnership and the show. Thank, thank you. you.